Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series as we attempt to tidy up the map a little bit and uh, try and finish off those last two timed challenges that we uh, that we didn't do, that I thought we'd done. So we've got a little bit of work to do. Maybe, a, maybe an episode or two. Um, I think I said I might even try and edit this one up a little bit. Um, because it's just the two little challenges. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes each. But then it's a lot of driving around. Because the uh, the trailers that we need with our fuel in are like opposite sides of the map. To bring them back won't take time. So this may be the first episode where it runs more than a day. But I'll, uh, I'll try and trim it down so it's still uh, that one episode. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see what we get done. But our first job is to go and collect our scout fuel trailer. And we're going to take this then back into Drummond Island. There is a dribble of fuel left in the large fuel trailer there. We'll collect that up. I think I might... <laughs> I might then leave the, uh, the Land Rover um, up there just because I'm going to have to come up over with the uh, White Western or the Fleet Star to complete one of those uh, time challenges. So then we'll probably jump to our Western and we'll take the fuel tank that we have there. We'll take that back. Or I could... Mm, should I leave that fuel tank there? I'm torn now. I'm torn. Yeah, we'll we'll do it that way. We'll leave that fuel tank. We'll um, we'll take that back. Yeah, and then we need to collect up the uh, P16 that's out by the farm still on the dam. So we'll uh, we'll bring that back. I think I think the fuel trailer down by the other entrance to to this map. I'm not sure if that's got fuel in it as well. It might even be worth just darting... That's low screens in it, but that's only for me. It's low screens for me, not for you. It might be worth me just darting through and um, having a check. Where's my fuel trailer? Is this not it? Oh, no, it's the wrong one. This is the, uh, the other station. Further on, sir, further on. Yeah, because it'll be easier to get to that fuel tanker from here than to go all the way into all in all the way into um, the lake and have to come across again. Not all the way into the all the way into the dam and have to come across. Where am I going? I'm not going the right way at all. I've got myself all confused suddenly. <clears throat> Talking and not thinking. This is where I want to go. Yeah, so that's that's the plan. And then once we've got pretty much all our vehicles back, other than <laughs> a little bit of fuel, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll like I said, we'll switch over to the White Western or the Fleet Star. I like the Fleet Star. And um, finish off those last two runs. They, they should be pretty easy. They should be. The, um, obviously, spare parts down to the farm is, uh, you know, definitely easy. The, the other one, which I believe is taking bricks from the warehouse um, by the dam up to the, the house in the woods... Uh, at the top of um, at the top of the map, near the entrance to Drummond Island. I mean that route's not bad, but you have to do it all in cab, which can be a little bit dubious. Uh, the, the the best thing to do on that is to take the safe route and just um, go along the road, which is the slowest route. But you have plenty of time, and we're not necessarily worried about if it's gold or not. It should be gold still, but. If it's not, it, it doesn't matter. It's not the worst thing.
But we've got to get this all sorted first, anyway. Since I hadn't put anything about in, uh, in mind of still having jobs to do. That is completely my bad, again. Anyway, uh, thank you all for coming back, if you have. Um, how exciting, we've almost finished Michigan. 50... I think this, this works out for episode 57. I don't know if that's good or bad. I feel like that's maybe 10 episodes too many. <laughs> so even without the rolling and, and stuff, like we, we obviously had some episodes where we didn't get a lot done. Uh, we did have an episode where we um, sort of floated the Land Rover up river. That was an interesting one. So we did have some some yeah some some less productive times, that's for sure. And this is on a map that I know, like I know a like I, I like to think I know Alaska, Alaska, uh, Michigan, like the back of my hand. Why are we just not moving? This this has annoyed me every time we've pulled uh, the trailer. Like how bad it is especially when that that little pivot wheel but when that sticks in the mud that's it you're done but yeah appreciate those that are sticking with the series especially those that have returned after a couple of um <laughs> series layoffs i guess I've always said we will get to the end. We will do it. We will complete. We will complete the game in hard mode. It will take me a while. There will be breaks. There will be times it it, it pretty much defeats me, and I have to take a little a little step back and and what have you. It's a game that can do that to you. Apologies for the uh, the camera angle change as well at the minute. I just we are dropping in every little divot there is and, and sinking our Land Rovers. The game knows we're near the end of this map. It knows we're tight on fuel, and it is going to make me expel every little drop to get anywhere. emptied out the fuel scout and it, oh, I was going I was gonna go the other way wasn't I this is that's annoyed me right yo see I forget I say stuff and I get in and I just go and I forget that I said I was gonna go the other way first I annoy myself so much that's why I've not got fuel because I, I don't even pay attention to myself when I say I'm gonna do things that's if I'd have gone the other route um, well, we'd be half, we'd be halfway towards the gate by now, and because we've not driven that route, nowhere near as much as we've driven this route, it wouldn't be as chewed up as this one, because it is bad round here. We have gone back and forth through this part quite a lot, from collecting the old drills and the old oil rig, um, yeah, they're like. The that's what those round sites were. They were all drill sites, weren't they? We collected up the old drill sites from them. We've driven around and done the jobs around them and everything else. Look at the wheel spin we are getting here because of this trailer. This trailer just does not move in the mud. It's a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. I think in uh, future <laughs> in future maps and future endeavours, if we come across scout fuel trailers, we might just try and empty them into another trailer, full stop, because they are not good. 
They really aren't. I think there's a few on some of the Alaskan maps. Off the top of my head, I can't think where. I know there are a few about. Load them into some other fuel trailers. If we get the uh, the lodestar I want, the modded lodestar I want, that should have a, you know a healthy sized um, fuel storage on it as well. I know some people might see that a little bit cheaty, but it's just carrying the fuel about, isn't it? It's not like we're using less fuel, and we still have to pay for it if we use it up. So it's still our the same amount of fuel you have. We just get to pull a little bit more of it about here. And like I say, it offers something different to this series from maybe some of the other series. And don't get me wrong, I like the other series I've watched where people have done their hard modes. And yeah, but a lot of them seem to run the same. But that is sort of the only thing. Whereas I want to try and have this a little bit different. Get some modded stuff in there. Nothing, like I say, nothing too overly cheaty. Uh, when we were, I thought I've said this before, but it was a long time ago. When we were using the um, modded vehicles and trucks and, and what have you on um, on the stream series, and yeah, you know, we had larger um, stalled um, gas tanks, fuel tanks, and um, you know containers in them. And I forget who it was, but someone commented, you know, that someone that they know in real life has. Uh, you know, a, a 500 litre fuel tank fitted into like what's the, the the equivalent of a scout truck in this game anyway. So if you get a modded one and it's got 150, 200 litres of fuel in a scout, that's not beyond the realms of reality. He will convert all sorts. Like this Land Rover, you know, we've got all these extra containers and all this extra fuel that we've, that's been fitted in and stuck in and I said uh, not too long ago, uh, while we were out and about in one of our trucks, like, for the type of jobs that we're doing, and, you know, the role play of it, you would definitely have a lot more extra fuel. You'd be jamming fuel and parts in every space you had if you were doing this. You wouldn't just be going with, you know, your stock fuel tank and maybe one little jerry can. You'd need more. You'd be prepared and some of the modded vehicles allow you to play the game as if you actually are prepared up for the challenge and all that and some of these future maps are going to be a hell of a challenge You know, we won't go with the. Uh, although it's installed, I think, because I use. I, I, I was going to. I say use it. I was going to use it and try it out on a different save. But there's this. I think this is Zix, a massive Zix truck, uh, modded one, and it has like a dual layered trailer, and I think it can hold like sixteen. I don't know. I might be exaggerating. It might, it might not be that many, but it holds a lot, like a, a lot of cargo. I'm sure it's in the teens. I'm sure it's double figure cargo we can carry. Which is insane. But for something like Cargo Apocalypse or Cargo Apocalypse 2 in, a, in Alaska, that would make that one run. Instead of, um, you know, possibly four or more. Like, hey, we had the super order where we had to drop so many things off in so many different directions. We've got a trailer where you can put 14 all on at once. That's just doing a round trip of the maps, isn't it? It's all done. But I guess in having such a large machine, such a large vehicle, your route choice 
becomes limited. You're not as nimble. You're not as agile. You can't, you know, squeeze through the trees and stuff, can you? So comes down to that old adage of uh, swings and roundabouts. So let's see how little this trip was worth, because I only want to go through, collect fuel, and come back. There's every chance that we pick up less fuel uh, than I've burnt in trying to get here. That, that is always a possibility. Oh no, there's a there's a bit in there. Now there isn't. Now I think we've got too much to uh, to fit everything from the other one in. We may, we may have to leave a dribble behind somewhere. I'm not going to worry about a hundred hundred liters or something. I should, but I won't. Right. This will be one of the bits that I cut, so we'll go through here, but we'll come out in Drummond Island, hopefully. Oh, a completely uneventful drive through the island lake avoided. Let's go and see if we can scoop up the rest of the fuel. I have... Uh, topped up us once from the uh, from the scout trailer. So we'll top us up again once we arrive at the at the fuel trailer. Woohoo! Easy. We haven't got an, an autonomous winch on here apparently, so we don't want to mess that up and roll over because we've not got a truck nearby at all. Then that'll be more fuel wasted. We have done that a few times, haven't we? Had to bring trucks over from everywhere to try and get things done. That's where the fuel has gone. The money's gone on tyres. The fuel has gone, <laughs> has gone on misspent trips. Come on. Yeah, if we do want more money anyway, we've, we've got vehicles we can sell. That's always an option, I think. I think there's a freight liner or something that we could sell. Um, there's a Chevy CK that we can sell that we don't need. We mainly don't need it because I think as we go along, excuse me, we'll pick up uh, more of those on maps. I think we'll probably pick up more um, like Scout 500, Scout 800, whatever they were. I think we'll get more of them as we go along. And most of the time, like I've said before, when we go to a new map, we are probably going to pick ourselves a new uh, scout to start with anyway. Or at least a new truck to get about and do some scouting with. See, that'll be the uh, that little support strut wheel. Just digging in the mud that's just slowing us down. Even though it's attached and lifted, it just drags. It's awful. That little one there. Digs in, slows you down. Doesn't help this. Obviously, there's no mud tyres on the back of the trailer, but... I expect a lot. That's my trouble. I expect too much. Much too much. Could have used the time to think about how I'm going to plan out the other phases of what we're doing here. But I didn't. I was just mindlessly driving along. Thinking about nothing or trying to think about nothing. As, uh, as some of you, many of you, will know at the time of recording this, you know. We've had stuff going on and I just just sort of jumped on to uh, try and... Keep, keep myself occupied more than uh, more than a lot of things really um, I had been playing for a few for a fair few days playing quite a bit on the console I think I already covered that uh, thought yeah it's time to just 
It's time to jump back on and, and get this hard mode rolling. But we are... Overall, we're doing okay, you know. Everyone deals with things in their own way, and it can be tough for others. Some think others deal with it easily when they're not, and others think they're struggling when they're not, but you just have to deal with it in your own way, slowly work through the process. Right, where is our trailer over there? Now, this has, like, a splash, if I remember rightly, a splash of fuel. Like, the other one had very little. This one has maybe a hundred litres or something silly in it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it went the wrong way. Come out there. In the meat. In the meat. I don't think I'll ever get that right. I always empty <laughs> empty out my trailer or even <laughs> empty out my truck whenever I first try and do a, a big fuel switch. And I, just, I felt sure I did break it through as well. The glasses haven't improved that aspect of my gameplay, have they? Here we go. Beautiful jobby, right? So, 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 so. Let me have a little think and a little assessment here. The task of new nest, which is the one, and it's just two lots of bricks coming up. So that's not difficult. It's just coming up from there. So it'll be fuel. Do we have, right, that's got 25% fuel in the GMC, the fleet starts at 100%, uh, Kodiak, it's got nothing in it. I think what I'll do first is, if we do heavy burden, because there's three spare parts, I'll just put a single trailer on, or a uh, bed on the back, we can connect that, that'll pull the third one. Take that down. The Pacific will have fuel in it. We can try and pinch some fuel out of the Pacific. The Pacific? Yeah, the Pacific to fuel us up to get down to here. To pick up at the new nest. And I shall put the... Do we use the fleet star? Or do I do Make it safe and just use the western. Let's like say if you use the western, because then I can... Oh no, because once it's got a, cr a crane on it, it won't connect with it. That's the annoying part. That is the really annoying part. We'll use the fleet. So we'll use the fleet star to do these jobs. Right, so... A little bit of placement. I am going to put the Land Rover at the warehouse so I can top up there. I'll suck some fuel out of the P16 once I've done that job. Just double check there is no fuel in here, is there? This is empty. It is empty, right. Gone out of the way. I know it would be the better, op the safer option because we know it is a, you know. Although I like to use the uh, Flea Star, it hasn't always been the kindest to me, has it? <laughs> this playthrough, anyway. I think the West Hill gets up the hill quicker. It'll, yeah, it'll use the White Western Star. So we can leave that fuel up there and we'll just winch it back. That'll be fine. By the time I've got everything in place, it might even be morning again for me. It'll be a bit nicer to do the jobs in the daylight than at night.
We'll take the shortcut. Should be safe enough with a Land Rover. It's this one. It's this one here, boss. So I think like even when we were coming down here, this simple little route, I think we nearly rolled the fleet star as well, which is insane because I've been driving up and down here for four years and never rolled anything. Do it in hard mode and it gets stuck on a rock and tries to flip and roll and clips the uh, indestructible branch on a spruce tree. I think the white western style has got a slightly bigger fuel tank as well, maybe by like 30, 40 litres or something. Smooth, smooth connections. So next up, White Western. Again later. What are the odds? <laughs> Pop a tire over nothing. Oh, come on. This vehicle's got really sensitive. Also, I've, I've never in <laughs> again in all all four years prior to playing, I've never popped as many tires as I have in this playthrough so far. This fifty-seven hours, I have popped more tires than I had in the previous twenty days worth of gameplay. mad. It's insane. It's like hard mode has thinned out the walls on them. So there's a massive great Kravis? 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 Lenny Kravitz that we've uh, created. Be mindful of that. Like the rocks on the right as we bounce down into them, they'll pop our tire. Lovely jubbly. I want to have to take as little out of the other vehicles as possible when I, once I've changed. Once I've changed? Yeah, once I've... <laughs> I'm going to change my clothes, put some fresh overalls on for the day. Yeah, once we've um, put a different uh, back on... Oh, crikey. Rear-wheel drivers getting a little bit ahead of us there. Well, afterwards, when we scoop them all up, I was thinking we sh should probably fill all their tanks up. But I think that will... Use up most of the fuel that we've got, but it'll, they'll need the fuel if we're going to use them again. So perhaps we should. I think when um, when I watched Wessel, I think he even spent the money on like completely fixing the vehicles, or I can't remember if he did it before he left or when he pulled a vehicle through, he'd repair it. It would be nice to have them looking um, pristine again for the next map. So I might do that when I pull them through. If they go into another map, then that's when they'll get a little tune-up. I forget how much it is. Like two and a half grand, I think? 
for a fully repair, something like that. It might be more, but I think it's something like that. A full repair and... I think that would refill you as well if you did it, so I'm not sure if it's worthwhile. And I can't remember if there are parts on here, so we'll just have a look. I think I've done this many times without there being... Any... Oh no, there's loads in the service trailer. Oh wow. Where's that service trailer? Oh, did I buy that? Is that a bought service trailer? Full of parts and tyres? Okay, everyone needs to come get repaired at some point as well. Oh, broke it anyway. Classic. Classic manoeuvre. Okay, so customise. Yeah, that is looking a bit gnarly, isn't it? That has been abused. So that was... Uh, what about that? And then we should have a cargo bed. There we go. Yeah, I don't think we can. We might have to do an overload with. Uh, Carrying one one of these service spare parts actually on the crane, which I'm not against. So who's going to give me a couple of liters? <laughs> Leave two, two liters in the fuel tank. Oh dear, it's just embarrassing. <laughs> Just better check it is service because I'm going to load up um, service spare parts. Yeah, three. Don't think we can. It was so long ago since I uh, tried. I haven't been using the uh, White West so much on my other. Yeah, we can't attach it. Okay. Well, in that case, you're not needed. Just um, get out of my way. I know, they're so beautifully stacked when I do it.
Oh, no, I wanted to... Why did I do that? What I wanted to do was retract the anchor. Oh, my goodness. This is why I don't do a lot of... Um, naughty overloading and stuff. Because I mess it up all the time. This is just with one extra box. There we go, we're good, we're good, right. So we have to get these down to the farm. Simple as. I felt sure I'd done this already. This is the sort of one I've I mean, to do this a couple of times, make money on it. Not now, not now. Now that we've not got the fuel. Maybe once uh, once we've done a few more maps. Again, we'll, we'll go back to ones where we've still got the time competitions that we can do, time challenges. So we can try and make a little bit more money once we've got fuel. But then it's like, if you have to come back through and it costs however many thousand to bring a vehicle through, is it then worth running a job for less than what you make? No, it's not. It's not. It's that simple. Now, it's been a long time since I've done a naughty overload. I can't remember if I need to lift that box off the others when I'm I deliver them or not. So, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully I get it right. If we can take the direct route in, try and smash through them pumpkins if we can, because you know, it would be nice to get the achievement eventually for smashing 500 pumpkins. There we go. Sim simple as that. Um, but yeah, that's three grand. Right. What a, what a challenge, hey? What a challenge. I don't necessarily like doing that. We might find we end up doing things like that more often, though. Try and save me some uh, fuel runs. Again, Doing things a little bit naughtier isn't sort of, it's not naughty, it's, you know, it's, it's a mechanic within the game. So, you know, you can't really complain about it. People, I said before, people play however they want to play. I don't necessarily need it I'm out of there, but, you know, I want to stay topped up, don't I? Don't I? I want to stay topped up. Let's get going again. Right, back to the warehouse. Uh, we'll grab two bricks, and then we're going to head all the way back up to the top. Right, so we're not going to be able to pull that big fuel 
trailer back attached to it, so you have to winch all the way back, which is a bit of a bit of a chore, but it'll be fine. So again, I grabbed. So I'll have cut that little journey. I've grabbed a flash of fuel. Shell. I've also repaired what little damage we had. Oh, we got bricks on there. Nice. They're a bit of a pull away, aren't they? What are them? I must have planned to do this and then changed my mind. I got probably got distracted by something else. Or realised that I hadn't done something else that I needed to do first or what have you. That's probably why I thought I had done it. around the back there we can top up our repair parts as well not that we've used a lot of them but well that went down and a bit quick see if that'll pack away nicely there we go How much for a restock? We'll probably bring the uh, Land Rover up there and restock that as well. Uh, 20 parts, 40. Yeah, yeah it's alright. It's cheap, isn't it? Things aren't as expensive as you might fear they are on hard mode. And we're not too worried about laying in a course or anything because we'll just follow the road. loads of time. I think it's like I didn't see I weren't looking, but I think it's like 12 minutes or something. It might be longer than that. 12 minutes in game, that's is that 4 hours? 4 hours in game to deliver this? 12 minutes? Like I say, it could even be longer, but it does, it does take that long. It shouldn't take that long. The rain is going to come and join us just to make it easier though. I don't think we spent much time inside the uh, inside the white. I do like the in cab. It's just it's not always best for gameplay viewing in cab. It's certainly not best for um, protecting your tires because you cannot see what you're driving over, and that is a a big plus. <laughs> A big plus when playing this game, being able to see what you're actually driving over. But if if I'm playing with a wheel, this is where I like to be. It, again, it does does mean you have to go to mouse for the winch because it's harder to do the winch from within here. The auto winch is supposed to shoot whatever you're looking at in the centre of your screen, but. It doesn't do that when you're out of cab. It certainly doesn't do that when you're in cab. Right, this is the tight one. Well, like I said, we could take a cheeky route, but I don't think there's any rush. There's any ru no rush, no need to, to worry about that. Play it safe. This is our final, our final actual job, and then we're just taking everything back to the garage. No need to risk anything at all here. They're both empty, aren't they? All these empty fuel trailers everywhere. There's another one at the warehouse, isn't there? Parked up right at the back. That's empty. That's all the trailers that came out of um, Island Lake, I think. I've pulled them all through, drunk it all up. I think when when I got the truck stuck, did I get it stuck or rolled whilst getting the the large cargo containers from, from the wrecked ship, from the wrecked boat, 
that probably used a lot of unnecessary fuel there because I had to pull everything. I had to pull the truck from. I guess, I'm guessing I had to pull the truck from uh, the garage here. Drive all the way through here. Drive all the way there. And obviously driving all the, all, both of them all the way back again. That's a lot of fuel. That's, that's, that's probably two full tanks of fuel. With all the revving and whatnot to uh, to correct the vehicles and everything and just generally getting stuck. You know, all these vehicles that, that don't have four-wheel drive always on, when they're in four-wheel drive, they use up a lot more fuel. If they don't come with um, diff lock always on, when you put on diff lock, it uses up more fuel. So and that's all these vehicles are all switchable. I think, I think the Land Rover is the only thing that has it on all the time. I don't think anything else does. And the diff we turn on and off, but the all-wheel drive is always on. So that might be something we have to look into when um, purchasing our, our future vehicles, if we ever purchase many. But yeah, purchasing our first vehicles for maps when we go to him, trying to be efficient in getting something that has all-wheel drive on all the time. Maybe has the diff lock on all the time. You know, we should be able to customise and build some of them, especially if I do go for a mod option. Because a lot of the modded options come, you know, with that as a thing, if you wish. That is what's good about them. Like, you get the vehicles, and then, like, you customise You make it as, as good as you want, or as OP as you want. And I think with how, how slowly progressive this has been on this series, having one OP scout truck or something, uh, just to get us out there, just to unlock the map and hit the watchtowers, find our upgrades and then parking it up pretty much after that, I, I can't, I don't have a problem with that, I think that makes sense to be able to progress and move on and you know what, it's, it's my playthrough <laughs> we'll do what I want Coming up to six minutes. There we go, our first bit of damage. <laughs> For no reason, just a little baby rock. And our turning is... Is... Here? The rocks are getting us now. Let's get ready to burst my tire. Burst my bubble. There we are, 7 minutes 17. And another, just under 4 grand. So it's up to 176,000 for us to, uh, to leave here with. Excuse me, I'll try and remember to edit that out. Um, right, so yeah, time to uh, drag our fuel back. But that, that should be 100% Michigan. We have, it's only 9% of the entire game. 100% Michigan, 9% of the game. Oh dear. And this took 56 hours. 
57 hours. <laughs> yeah, I aim for a long one. But, like I've said it many times, I don't know a game that offers as much game as this one does. Like you can get your open world survival games, right? Either you play them to an infinity. But I think for variety, um, you know, maps, 15, was that 15 maps now? By the time this comes out, I think the 15th one will be out. Or the, yeah, the 15th. Yeah, I think it is. I'm not sure if that's including the, uh, the base games or whatnot, but yeah, I'm sure some. Season 15, so it might even be that it's the 18th region if it doesn't include the the first three. Sorry, I'm just gonna. <coughs> Getting a bit hoarse. Right. So, yeah, I, mean, I think that's, that's phenomenal. Like, 9% of this game. That's not connected, right, is it? There we go, it's better. I don't like it when the rope comes underneath the truck. It's weird. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, this is a game that has an end. It has a completion point. And 99% of that game, the first 9%, has taken, you know, 57 plus hours to do. If you like a grind, you can't you can't grumble at it. Value for money, Snow Runner is is up there as like peak, I think. I mean, obviously, you've got to enjoy these sorts of games, and there aren't many of them like it. It's not your average truck sim. It's not your average open world, because you're a vehicle, a vehicle terrain combat game is what this is and it's mad the only things that are like it are the games that came before it and those that will follow it <laughs> spin tires and mud runner expeditions and then road craft it's nothing else like this and I'd say this is easily one of my favourite games of all time. Easily. There aren't many games where I've spent a grand total of nearly 40 days playing it. Maybe, you know, S Skyrim. You know, any, any of the Elder Scrolls, maybe. I don't know, I can't think of it. You know, a football manager. I don't think in total I've played a farm sim game for that long. Forty, what's that? Eight hundred thousand, maybe, maybe a farm sim game. But that would be like at the end. Like this is still at the start. Still haven't even got close to finishing this. And that's not me trying to flex like any sort of gameplay time. I think I think that's a strange thing when people maybe do that. But, oh yeah, I've spent five thousand hours on FS22. Okay, <laughs> good for you, I guess. I'm not gone. Oh yeah, I've, I've spent a thousand hours on SnowRunner and <laughs> only completed nine percent of it. I've completed 9% of it eight times. <laughs> uh, and, uh, if I'd have completed 9% of it 11 times, I'd have completed the game. I've completed the same 9% so many times. I think the, uh, the, the series that was our stream series, uh, I think that's at, sitting at like 17-18% total game completion, so that's not too bad. 
My console one is in roughly around the same, but I'm not doing it in the same order. I, I did uh, on that one. I, I, I did uh, Michigan, most of Michigan. I think once I got to the logs, I then jumped to Alaska for a little mix-up and a bit of change because I was getting fed up doing logs. Uh, then I come back, finish some more logs, and then jumped to time in and did some more there and then flitted between all three maps until I completed Michigan and then I sort of flitter in between Alaska and time in almost at a, an equal percentage of completion as I'm doing them I, I did consider jumping on one of the other maps as well I think I said this the other day but I, I want to uh, Get those first three done, even on that save that no one sees, that no one knows about. I have started sharing some of the screenshots from it. I've put, I've put some in Discord, um, put them on my Instagram. I like sharing screenshots from SnowRunner. Even on my console, they look, they look beautiful. They're still in 4K, so they still look good. Not quite the fidelity that I have on the PC, but for playing on the big lounge TV, I am more than happy. Yeah, I share I share those shots around on um, Xbox as well. If you are a console player, feel free to add me on Xbox. I do have a PSN thing, but I don't have a PlayStation anymore, so I wouldn't worry about that. But I think I think it was Mr. Farquhar eighty three on. PSN. You'd get on there, you'd see I had very, very few <laughs> trophies, very few games I played. Most of my PlayStation gaming was PS1 and 2, didn't have a PS3. I'd moved over to Xbox for the OG Xbox and 360. And of course, if you want, you can add me on Steam. Search my name. Um, I think somewhere on my Discord, my um, Steam friend code is there. If anyone wanted to add it, you can. Unfortunately, I can't tow the... Uh... See, I was worried about fuel. Did I fill up from the... I think I did fill up from the trailer. I didn't. I just connected to it. I haven't filled up from the trailer. So I would have had enough fuel. But I was dubious on whether I would have. Ooh, camera. And like I say, my old mate Wessel, he had, I'm pretty sure he had one or two of those large fuel trailers still, and two or three of these build up parked outside his garage when he finished. I'm going to put all this in my uh, in my Kodiak trailer. It's going to be gone. <laughs> I'm going to fill up all my vehicles, fill up the Kodiak trailer, and that'll be it. I will have no spare fuel for future maps. <laughs> I, I did something so very wrong. So very wrong. Definitely need to do less wasted trips. Just not very good at planning. Um, mainly because I forget things. You will all know this by now. I forget instantly. My recall is zero. The last... Including this one. The last six episodes... Have been recorded... I think over the course of three days. I could not tell you the jobs and the things. <laughs> it was logs, I know that. But, yeah, specific things or things I said, I couldn't tell you in those episodes. It is a slight worry when it's that bad. So...
So what we're going to do is... We are... Oh. We actually right. We shall refuel... Us. I'm not sure if it's a wise button in the GMC, but we may we may get called upon. I think we should. And the Chevy. And then the rest of that. Embarrassingly enough. Oh, where am I taking it from? I'm taking it out of the fleet star. I'm getting it all wrong again. Why is it coming at the bloody fleet star? Right, that's fine. Into the fleet star. That's fine. Yeah, right. That is all the fuel. That's, that's sad. That is sad. Okay, so GMC is repaired. Fleet Star could do with a little. And the Kodiak is fine. We ourselves are fine. So I'm going to take this in, I think. How much is a repair? It's just body work. It's two and a half grand. We'll wait. I think I'll probably pull this out the other end, but we will wait. Um, what I want to do, though, is... Not going to buy anything. Tires on leave. Stock, that's fine. Spare wheel. We'll leave that. Snorkel, we'll leave. Or wheel. We'll leave the frame take off for now it'll probably end up going straight back on if it ever comes out again but it's stored now yeah okay but we can pull it out there if we want that's fine okay so next up is the bring the GMC in It's got its balanced gearbox suspension. We've got a raised for it now as well. We'll save it in case that fits something better. Tires with leave, stop, normal. Spare wheel we didn't add, snorkel's fine. Hasn't got the engageable yet, and we want to take off that. And then that can be stored. Um, I'm going to bring back the E16 next. Gone. So we'll just give it a quick repair job because it has got some damage to engine and suspension, I think. I'll cut out the journey back because it was completely uneventful. I did delete the fuel trailer just out of resentment of not being able to uh, use them or not use them but sell them. Yeah, I forgot that this turns like an Airbus. I'm not going to delete that fuel trailer, just in case I do have to come over here and buy fuel, because it's going to be cheaper. Here we shall stick this in here. I don't think there's a lot to really do. I mean, I think the only time this will be used would 
probably be for maybe a high saddle maneuver or some more long long logs but i know that other maps have other other things for that i'd still like to uh be able to afford to sell that and buy the modded version of it at some point because the modded version is so much fun but a16 in the storage so then next up is bringing home the Land Rover. I did say I, would, I think I, I think I'm going to restock the Land Rover quickly because it, it isn't going to cost a lot. Yep, that's how we do it, that's how we turn, that's our style. I don't think there was anywhere to restock up at the, up at the garage, other than paying for that total repair and all that stuff, all that malarkey, that two and a half grand, which we're not going to pay for at the minute. So how much is this going to cost us? Uh, 200 can't supply wheels, can't resupply. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Can't resupply the wheels. Oh, perhaps it didn't have wheels, that's why. Nought of nought, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think that confused me last time as well. <laughs> Deja vu of my ignorance. Right. Let's, uh, let's hoss this back up to the garage and get this sorted out with fuel and put away. So, first things first. Oh, the wrong one again. Right. Refuel. Self all the way at the top. Then. 90. <laughs> 91 litres. Oh, dear. That's, that's too funny. That's too funny. I am leaving. I'm leaving 91 litres here. That is it. Right. Change truck. Sherry. Do you need repairs? I don't think you do. So, you go in. You have to keep your fuel trailer on, I believe. I've not done this on hard road before, so I, I believe you keep your fuel trailer on. In you go. My beloved little fleet star. Well, you don't need repairs either. So you can go in. As you are. And we shall do a little of that customization. Everything about you is going to stay as you are. I sold all the standards. Um, we'll take that off. And we'll take your sign. That's it. What else have we got in here? Oh, we've got others in here. Look, we need to make sure we stack them away. Um, so, yeah, we are going to pop you away. The International Trans Star. This may get sold at some point. I can't see me using it. I know people like to use it as a challenge, but I think I'm having challenge enough. But you shall be put away. The Chevy that we're, again, probably never going to use, but put you away. So then all that's left is the Land Rover. And we are leaving after everything, everything we have done here we're leaving 91 litres on the map. 91 litres in the region. That's crazy. That is crazy. Go find my man Wessel. He should be linked down in the description. Wessel had this filled with fuel trailers when he left. I've got that with 91 litres in it. That is insane. The, the Land Rover has... Has been a beautiful beast. I am going 
Although this 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 the Land Rover isn't coming out for a while. We're gonna make a full repair of the Land Rover. We started with the Land Rover. There she is. And that is gonna be the end of this episode. That is the end of Michigan. I feel a little bit emotional about it. It's been a slog, it's been a journey. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are on live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Next time you will join us for our first episode in hard mode in Alaska. So don't miss it. You have a good one and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.